Let's get right to it. Yesterday, someone pointed out to me another video by a faker scientist on YouTube discussing the harsh realities of her job. Normally, I don't watch these, but I thought I'd give this one a watch to hear her perspective. On her very first point, she notes that many people take faker science jobs and then become depressed about the role and then move to another job. Now, that didn't surprise me. I've seen this happen time and time again in the real world with faker scientists. What surprised me was the jobs she saw many people move to. She noted that the most common job they move to is product management. Now, you may be thinking, yeah, so what? Well, I've said time and time again that machine learning engineers are highly technical people. After 30 years in IT, I've never seen anyone move from IT to product management. Never. That would be a massive intellectual and career downgrade. In the real world, the people in IT are the elite. They are the smartest people in the room. If faker scientists were so technical, why on earth would they move to a product management role? Why wouldn't they move laterally to a job in IT? Why? Because most of these faker scientists' roles don't live inside of IT. Because faker scientists aren't technical. And the reason so many are leaving the role is because they aren't qualified to do the job in the real world. Now, from someone on the outside, this might seem trivial. However, after working at the top levels of IT for decades now, I promise you it isn't. It's usually telling of the technical acumen faker scientists don't have and that machine learning engineers do have. If I had to move to any business role because I couldn't work in IT for any reason, it would be a massive career failure. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.